And families across the U.S. are once again facing difficult conversations in the aftermath of the Appalachian school shooting in Georgia. The teenage suspect accused of fatally shooting two teachers and two students made his first court appearance today. His father also had his first court appearance and both remain in custody. Tragic events like this school shooting on Wednesday can make kids anxious and fearful and talking about these events can be difficult for parents. Maddie Fran spoke to a school social worker and a therapist. Maddie, they share some tips with you on how parents can start the conversation. Hi, John. For kids old enough to be on social media, therapists recommend talking through the event with your child without judgment or interruption. Some kids worry about causing their parents more stress, so it's important to let them know they can talk about it. Anytime that there's a trauma out in the community or even far away, our students are affected by that. Since the shooting at Appalachia High School in Georgia on Wednesday, Rock Island High School social worker Tina Egabrod has been talking with a lot of students. It brings up either feelings of unsafety, uncertainty in the school, and it also brings up their past trauma. She says parents can help their kids process the event, starting by asking what they've heard and how they feel about it. If you're worried about it, your child's probably worried about it, and by you opening up and talking about it, it gives them the opportunity to express their feelings too. Social worker and therapist Isabel Young recommends walking kids through those feelings. Giving the kids words to use, like what does fear, when I say that word, what does that mean for you? When I say the word safe, how does that make you feel? How does that make your body feel? She says identifying safe people at school can help ease fears. Even when big things like this happen, we look to rather it was the police or teachers or firefighters or any other person in the situation. We have the safe people. Seeing traumatic events on social media can make those negative feelings worse. Egobrod recommends logging off and connecting with loved ones. The more you see it, the more you're replaying it, the more it's feeding those anxieties and those fears. Young says parents should also remember to take care of themselves and know when to take a break. Your kids aren't expecting you to know everything. They just want to know if they come to you you're going to be able to be kind and patient with them to the best of their, your ability. Now, Young also says parents should seek additional help for their child if they're struggling with nightmares and high anxiety for more than a week. That can come from school counselors and social workers or an outside therapist. John? All right, Maddie, thank you. And parents can reach out to their schools if they want to learn more about what safety measures are in place.